memorandum will give us an update on the current and situation in the republics of Burkina Faso, Guinea, Mali, and Niger. On sanctions, the authority has resolved as follows. The authority has resolved to lift with immediate effect the following measures imposed on the Republic of Niger. A. Closure of land and air borders between ECOWAS countries and Niger to be lifted. No fly zone of all commercial flights to and from Niger is to be lifted. Suspension of all commercial and financial transactions between ECOWAS member states and Niger is to be lifted. Freezing of all service transactions, including utility services, is to be lifted. Freezing of assets of the Republic of Niger in ECOWAS central banks is to be lifted. Freezing of assets of Niger state and the state enterprises and parastatals in commercial banks is to be lifted. Suspension of Niger from all financial assistance and transactions with all financial institutions, particularly EBID and BOID, is to be lifted. Travel ban on the government officials and their family members is also to be lifted. These, this decision is based on humanitarian considerations, especially as we are in the month of Lent and as we prepare for the holy month of Ramadan. The authority has also resolved to lift the sanctions regarding the recruitment of Malian citizens in statutory and professional positions within ECOWAS. The authority has also resolved, resolved to lift financial and economic sanctions on the Republic of Guinea. The authority has also instructed the President of the Commission to invite Burkina Faso, Niger, Mali, and Guinea to, to attend technical and consultative meetings of ECOWAS, as well as all security-related meetings. The authority calls on ECOWAS institutions, member states, YMO, and other regional institutions to implement this decision. West Africa Regional Bloc, known as ECOWAS, has lifted travel, commercial, and economic sanctions imposed on Niger that were aimed at reversing the coup steadily in the country last year. A senior official announced Saturday. The sanction will be lifted with immediate effect. The president of the ECOWAS Commission, Omar Aleo Traole, said after the block meeting in Nigerian capital city, Nigerian capital Abuja, that aimed to address an existential threat facing the regional as well as empower three junta led national that have quit the block to sign their decision. The lifting of the sanction on Niger is on pure humanitarian group ground to ease the suffering caused as a result. As a result, Traore told reporters there are targeted individual sanctions as well as political sanctions that remain in force. He added, the summit of the 15 nations regional eco economic bloc known as ECOWAS in Niger, capital Abuja, comes at critical time when the 48, 49 years old broke's future is threatened as it struggles with possible disintegration and a recently 
surge in coup fueled by this by discontent over the performance of elected government whose citizens barely benefit from mineral resources. The decision to made at the summit must be guided by our commitment to safeguard the constitution over order, upholding democratic principles and promoting the social and economic well-being of the citizen. Nigeria President Bola Tinubu, current chairperson of ECOWAS, said at the start of the summit, top of the agenda is, list, is the recent division decision by Mali, Burkina Faso and Niger to leave ECOWAS or the economic community of West African states of in, over in human sanction. That move is unprecedented since the broke was established in 1975 and agreed to grow and agreed to become the regional stop political and economic authority we must re-examine our current our current approach to the quest for constitutional order in our member state tinub said i therefore urge them to reconsider the decision and not to perceive our organization as the enemy the summit is also expected to review the harsh sanction imposed on Niger this week on one of the broke founded leader and Nigerian former military ruler, Yakub Gawon, urged regional leader to lift the sanction, noting that the broke is more than a coalition of state but is a community established for the good of our people. In the past year, However, the bloc has struggled to resolve the regional most pursuing challenge, the Sahel, the vast arid expanse, expanse south of Sahara, Sahara Desert that stretch, stretches across several West African countries, faces growing violence from Islamic extremists and rebels, which in turn has caused the soldiers to depose elected government. The nine coup in West and Central Africa since 2020 followed a similar pattern which coup leaders accusing for government of failing to provide security and good governance. Most of the coup hit countries are also among the poorest and least developed in the world. The sanction against Niger and the threat of the military intervention to reserve the to reverse the coup where they likely trigger to an inevitable outcome of three countries withdraw from the bloc, said Karim Manor, and an analyst for the Middle East and Africa for the with the Economist Intelligence Unit. With their withdrawal, the West Africa region will be increasing fragile and division divided while the new alliance be, between Mali, Burkina Faso and Niger fragged the West African bloc and reflect an existence of position of, to the traditional structure that were unpinned the regional for the sides manual added. This extraordinary summit was conveyed at a critical juncture that demands our focused attention on regional issues. In the course of this summit, therefore, we will receive a memorandum from the ECOWAS Commission President on the peace, security, and political situation in the region. Memorandum will give us an update on the current situation in the republics of Burkina Faso. Guinea, Mali, and Niger. On that note, our decision will be guided by our commitment to safeguarding the constitutional order, upholding the democratic principles, and promoting the social and economic well-being of the citizens of the aforementioned countries. Your Excellencies, let me underscore that these challenges, though dancing, present an opportunity for ECOWAS to reaffirm its commitment to the vision of our founding fathers and the principles of under, the principle underpinning our commitment to peace security and regional integration. We must stand, and stand united 
in our resolve to promote economic integration, democracy, and human rights with a view to fostering sustainable development across all our member states. Times like this, currently, we face in our subregion demand that we take difficult votes, courageous decisions that put the plight of our people at the center of our deliberations. Democracy is nothing more than the political framework and the path to addressing the basic needs and aspirations of the people. This is why we must re-examine our current approach to the quest for constitutional order in four of our member states. I therefore urge them to reconsider the decision of these three nations to exit our home and not to perceive our organization as the enemy because we are not the enemy. Our confidence that though our collective efforts and, deter and determination, we will navigate the challenges before us and chart a new course towards a more peaceful, secure, and prosperous West Africa. With these few remarks, I would like to officially declare the extraordinary summit open. I wish all faithful, with all, wish all of us faithful deliberations as well as a successful outcome. I thank you all for your attention.